We want to try and find a way that they can still do what they love to do. I think what really makes it unique, that I, in my mind, is is the very is the way it's targeted and focused to very specific uh, needs of the soldiers. It's open to all the the veterans. Jeremy Henderson, who when I met him couldn't walk, he got hit by a mortar round and. He's got pins and um, needles and bars in his legs and just couldn't, couldn't do anything. Um, we put him in a golf cart and now he's playing in four or five tournaments a month out of that golf cart and willing to go help anytime he can. Well, it's a great feeling knowing that I can play golf again and get back outside and do things that uh, was taken away from me. But uh, with this cart, it gave me hope to get back outside and enjoy the outdoors and the game of golf. With these multiple deployments that uh, our troops are facing today, I, I can I just have a great deal of uh, empathy for them and uh, can only imagine that uh, some of the difficulties that they're going through, uh, that they're, uh, they hear the message that yes, thank you for what, we're, what you've done over there, the sacrifices you've made, but as a, as a culture, are we really reaching out to them? Thanks troops came along at a, at, a, at a pivotal time in my recovery. Um, I was starting to uh, use golf as part of my recovery from my traumatic brain injury and uh, other emotional problems I was having. Not a whole lot of things in life that I'm grateful for, and this is definitely one of the things I'm grateful for. Um, not only am I grateful, but my family's grateful for it too. We want to try and find a way that they can still do what they love to do. And uh, so each request is unique and each request uh, requires a great deal of thought and uh, that's part of the enjoyment for us is seeing if we can solve those problems. Dennis Klein lost his left arm um, to an RPG attack and has a passion for trap shooting. So we're able to buy shotguns and ammo for him so that he could pursue that passion. My passion is shooting and uh, they have really supported me the whole way through. Um, not only am I trying to, to shoot to do something for myself, but my main goal behind this is by me shooting, maybe I can t reach out to other disabled veterans and say, hey, you know, you can do stuff like this also. That's the first thing. They come back and I think there's that feeling they can never do that again. they have never going to have that opportunity. It's a part of their life that's been lost. And I think Thanks Troops gives them the opportunity to regain that, to realize that no, it hasn't been lost. You can still do it. It might be done in a different way. Uh, you might have to work at it harder, but it can be recaptured. And I think that's a big thing for these, for these, uh, for these troops. Whatever they enjoy doing recreation-wise to get them out of the house, that's what we'll support. And it's at no cost to them. Um, all of the funds that we get go back to them. There's no administrative cost. It's 100% of the money, not the proceeds, go to the vets. Our primary fundraiser is, is the uh, annual golf tournament. Uh, and when you hear the word golf tournament, you think of, well, we get a bunch of businessmen together and um, they pool their resources and have a fun day and the proceeds go to the, <clears throat> don't go to the troops. Ours is a, a bit unique in the fact that uh, when you sponsor a foursome, you get two playing spots for civilians and the other two spots are filled by combat veterans, combat warriors. I have uh, three or four wounded soldiers out here playing golf and getting them playing golf helps, it makes me feel better about helping them uh, do something they want to learn to do. I just taught a soldier how to play golf the other day and we're start, trying to start a Wounded Warrior program in the Warrior Transition Battalion of Golf program and it's, it's wonderful. If you can get them out, like I said, get stress off there, off of them, it's a good thing. When we have organizations that put things together like this, it gets them out the house, gets that, them thoughts and what was going on over there and, you know, all the battle, all that, get it out of their system. They get, get out here and forget about that and have fun. You get, with, you get to meet people, civilian guys who really care about what we're doing, you know, and, and thank you all the time, legitimately clear about what you're doing. Creating recreational activities for them, giving them some outlets to, to enjoy themselves, coming back from Iraq or Afghanistan, uh, just an opportunity for them to relax and, and just enjoy, enjoy life. Uh, what brought me out was actually uh, our liaison with uh, the Thanks Troops, and uh, he was really uh, getting big and getting the message out and uh, drumming up some good support off of Fort Carson to come out. 
um, because they're helping so many of the soldiers that you know we really want to support them as much as we can. They actually need more, and uh, anybody that could go out there and help them more, uh, they've got my salute too. Some of the other events uh, that we uh, sponsor, we, we've done uh, poker tournaments, uh, we've had a, a fishing expedition, uh, any number of things. And they're coming back with much more post-traumatic stress than we ever did because of what they're facing. So they need more help and they need more uh, care and they need more friends. We did this last year and um, we saw the benefit this year from it. You know, with able to buy the golf carts that the guys were being able to use, it's a pretty good deal. All you need to do is look at their face and you can see that the strain is off of their face. So it's, uh, uh, they, they enjoy the program very much. And not just organizations like this, regular people like you and I, a soldier comes in in uniform and uh, many a times it's a humbling experience when somebody uh, says, here, I've got your lunch or I've got your breakfast or they buy you a cup of coffee and they actually genuinely sit there and they want to talk to you. It's a very humbling experience. If you know anybody that is hurt or um, physically hurt, has traumatic brain injury, has any problems from any of the conflicts, we want to help them. We want to get them out there doing what they enjoy doing. If it's fishing, if it's hunting, if it's golfing, whatever recreational activity they enjoy, let's find them and get them out there. We're looking for donors and we also want people to uh, be aware that if they know somebody who's in need, uh, run it by us. Get online, fill out that grant request and we'll consider each each grant individually. Just you know, I would just encourage anybody uh, out, you know that, that looks at this video and sees that it has an opportunity to to become involved with Thanks Troops. Uh, as Mark said, take a look at our you know take a look at our, our website, uh, see who we are, uh, maybe hopefully have the opportunity to talk to somebody who's either been at one of our events, uh, who's been impacted by one of our events, and really get a sense of what, what this organization does and what it stands for. And I think if you do that, uh, it's going to have an impact on you and it's going to, it's going to be something that I think you're going to want to become involved in. They deserve the best that we have to give them.